Fear No Evil is powered by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. the shot the deer just ducked God didn't want me to have that deer God didn't want me to have that deer on that time on that shot that place it wasn't supposed to go down like that it wasn't in the cards you think it's so quiet I bet you that deer wouldn't even have ducked you think that deer would have ducked if you were shooting Dude, this I'm telling you right now look I'm telling you right now that it's louder when that when that arrow hits that block it, it's way louder than this even this bow going off I hit the range and I drew back and I felt it roll over my chest, dude. I put that pin exactly where he just ducked it. He, there's no way if I was shooting this bow. I can't even hear it. Like standing two feet from you, like you said, like the arrow hitting the target is louder than the actual bow. I'm just gonna start rolling on this. Um, tell me a little bit about the bow. This right here is my Martin, my new Martin Nemesis Nitro. It's like 306 feet per second with the heaviest blood sport that they make. The heaviest blood sport arrow that they make. And this bow, hands down, is the best shooting bow I've ever shot. And I tell you right now that every single time I load a, a blood sport into here and I draw back, I think about that deer. This would have happened five years ago, two years ago. I would have lost my mind. I would have probably tried to jump out of the tree stand, hanging from my muddy, breaking stuff, I would have lost it. But it just happens that right now in this place, in Alberta, in that muddy stand, I'm in a great place in my life. I got the best fans in the world. I got the American dream, built something from nothing, fear no evil, arrow affliction. I got my best friend in the tree. We don't give up that easy. Chuck Norris is still running around. I got a tag burning a hole in my pocket. And this is kind of like the dream team. Ben Coquel, this is his place, Northern Alberta Outfitters. He knows what these deer are gonna do. He's running the plays, chips laying down the footage, and I still got plenty of sharp rages. Oh yeah, and Will Simmons is in camp. Just say wolf. Wolf, <laughs> wolf, wolf, wolf. Will Simmons, he's pretty much one of the funniest guys me and Chip even know. He's pretty much the reason we're even here, why we even got introduced to Ben and why we're chasing these big, giant whitetails. So now that you've met Will, let me introduce you to his best friend. Everybody, meet Stickers. Stickers is the reason that Will has driven from South Carolina all the way up here to Northern Alberta Outfitters. So if anybody can pull off getting a shot at this deer, it's Will Simmons. Because somewhere along the line, he has got a golden horseshoe. He carries it to every camp that we're at. I've been through his trailer. I can't find it. But you guys are not gonna believe what happens to Will on the third day of his hunt. Getting down, we're gonna go cut some back strap off the right West Coast here because we ain't having a little bit. Will Simmons has just done the one thing that all bow hunters dread. The reason we practice relentless day in and day out to make that one shot. He has made a bad shot. He has just wounded stickers. Whether it hit brush, whether it wasn't a clear shot, hey, that's between him and God. What you do after that and what difference it makes in your life is what it all comes down to. 
how you process it, how you process you, you know, the next shot and the next shot and the next shot as you live and what you can teach other people. Stickers is hitting his back leg, right above the joint. It's probably broke the bone, and if it hasn't broke the bone, it tore cartilage and ligaments. This deer is going to heal. He's probably gonna survive. Yeah, I guess so. I'll just go look up the edge. We've got a giant black cloud hanging over us, and it's not about to let up yet. Because right now, while Will Simmons is realizing that he's probably never gonna see stickers again, I'm in my tree stand watching Chuck Norris get run off by coyotes. Fear No Evil is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Garmin Verb, life, camera, action. Bloodsport, 100% carbon hand-sorted arrows. Luminoc, know where your arrow goes. Easy Cut, Horny Buckseed Company, Muddy Outdoors, and FNEgear.com. From an outsider's perspective, this looks like the whole trip is a complete disaster. I've missed my biggest deer in my life. Will's wounded stickers, the deer he drove all the way from South Carolina to come after. But hey, this is what Fear No Evil is about. Evil is anything that keeps you from being great or doing what God put you on this earth to do. So in the words of the great Jay-Z, we gotta brush off our shoulders and climb back in the muddies. So I like to think I've been doing a pretty good job of brushing my shoulders off. But I've also had to put up with this coyote running my big deer off my field twice. I'm frustrated. Anywhere within range of my tree stand is a bad place to be if you're a coyote. dead quick. Let's get him out of here. So with one shot, we feel like we've taken one back. The coyote is dead. The wind is perfect for our next spot. It feels like everything has changed and it's all in our favor. We get to our tree stand and we get news that we're not just going to be able to brush off. Well, it's the evening of September 5th. It is a tough day to sit in the stand today. Not because we're not in a beautiful place or a place that has big deer, but because one of our family members, our Fear No Evil Arrow Fishing family members, died yesterday. Mike Andrews, he's the main head honcho under Greg Susselman over at 
Sam Locke. We took yesterday evening off uh, to go to town and stuff, and it just happens that last night's when Mike died, he had a heart attack, and he will be missed. I bet he's playing music right now, or he loved to play music. I bet she's playing music for for Jesus up there, and it's a uh, uh, it's a day that you just kind of soak everything in, you know, take anything too serious, and just kind of keeps everything in perspective when you lose one to one of those close people to you. And we didn't talk every single day, but for him to believe in the dream that we call Fear No Evil, living for that five seconds of glory, pushing ourselves and inspiring and educating through entertainment. Mike, we love you for it, man. So today we are donning this black face paint, putting a third line right here on the Fear No Evil Batman mask. For you, brother. May you rest in peace and you will never be forgotten. And your son is a great man and you've raised him to be a great man. And Nick Andrews, he will take over and we will rock Scentlock in the next year or so. So just good people and believed in us. And Mike, I know you're up there looking down on us today. The guy that are home and we're going to kill a buck for you tonight, big boy. So. We're just going to enjoy this hunt, y'all. Alberta. Day five. Let's do it. So after we said a little prayer for Mike that night, this hawk showed up. And I knew right then that everything was going to be all right. And it was one of the most beautiful sets that I'd ever had from a tree stand. And it didn't matter if we killed a buck that night or not. Fear No Evil is brought to you by Martin Archery. Take your best shot. Scent Lock. Proven deadly. Rage. Leading the revolution in lethal technology. Moultrie. Your source for total game management. Night and Hail Game Calls. It's your call. Code Blue. Perfecting the science of hunting. have to find out where these deer are going and what they're doing because they've changed. In nine days, these deer have changed. They've changed their patterns. I've got to figure them out again. And we found the spot. This is a little staging area in this bottom that they're kind of coming around us using the bigger timber before they go out to the alfalfa field. The deer are definitely in here. We saw the big bucks using that top trail on that hillside, but that's about 60 yards. I didn't even think about cutting a trail up there because I didn't want to ruin the area. Well, you know what? It's getting down to the bottom of the ninth. I've got to get the easy cuts and clear all this brush out of here. I don't have any shooting weights. I mean, we have to get aggressive. We're down to the bottom of the ninth. And we're not the only ones that are getting aggressive. On our way out, we realize that the Glendale has been tore up. These whitetails are shedding their velvet, their testosterone's ripping through their body, and that's why their patterns are changing. <laughs> when we walked by this this morning going in, he was fully, he was fully set up. Everything was fine. And then we just showed up. It even broke the piece off the bottom. So we're down to the 10th day. This is it. Everything comes down to these last few hours. We've done our part. The rest is up to God. And all I can do is make sure that my crew and my equipment are up to whatever he's about ready to deal us. No mistakes, no excuses.
absolute last day of our hunt in Alberta the last evening, last night. We saw a really good eight pointer right at last light come up through there and I couldn't get a shot so we came in here today and trimmed the living dog snot out of this place on the ground. So we're playing with fire today but we have sprayed down with some code blue. We're all set locked up, getting ready to put my net gator on. It's game time, y'all. Let's hunt this fear no evil. Last day in Alberta. Fear No Evil is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Garmin Verb. Life, camera, action. Bloodsport. 100% carbon hand sorted arrows. Luminoc. Know where your arrow goes. Easy Cut. Horny Buckseed Company. Muddy Outdoors. And FNEGear.com.
I can't even describe the feeling we felt walking back to camp. But I think the trail camera that took our pictures as we were walking back to camp says it all. A happy ending to a crazy trip. It's pretty much Fear No Evil style. Perseverance, overcoming adversity, yeah, that's what we love. And what about Will Simmons and stickers? Well, Will never saw stickers on that entire trip and that entire hunt again. But stickers started showing up back on the Moultries in the alfalfa field in October, and Will did what every good bow hunter, what every true bow hunter would do. He got back in the truck, he drove 38 hours back to Northern Alberta Outfitters, and he killed stickers. How about that for a happy ending? As bow hunters, we do the right thing like Will did. We owe it to ourselves, our forefathers, and our future bow hunters. This is the passion, this is what God put us on this earth to do. Hopefully educate through entertainment. This is Fear No Evil, y'all. I'm Chris Brackett. Booyah. Boo. Yeah. Y'all ready for this? You gonna be stiff, Alberta. Monster buck. Oh. My. God. Look at the mass on this big old Alberta buck. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, y'all. This is Fear No Evil, and this is my big Alberta heavy, gnarly monster buck, baby. Northern Alberta Outfitters. It don't get any cooler than that right there. Unbelievable. And this buck right here goes out to Mike Andrews. Mike Andrews lost his life this week, and he helped me develop the Fear No Evil suit by Scentlock, and so this one's for you, big boy.